These three reports have something very stupid in common, and they generated more than $800 for the ones who spotted these issues. Although, even a newbie with zero experience would have been able to spot this, so in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what all of these three reports have in common, and how Bug Bounty is really broken. Here is the first report, and I don't even know what to think at this moment, because I just saw this, and I was like, oh my god, I need to make a video about this. So let's just go over it. Now, these three reports have exact same thing in the common, and almost in anyone even if you don't know how to hack you would have been able to spot this issue if it even is an issue. I mean, it is, but let's just go over it. So first things first, this hacker was reading one, if not all, of the disclosed reports. And one of them got to its attention, where hackers slash reporters email was disclosed inside of the report. And it basically gives it the report. Here it is. It's all fixed up. But he was basically reading all of the reports on Hacker One, just looking at them just the same way on the activity page, as you can see. So you can just go over here and find reports of other people that have been disclosed. And he showed in the video that his email <laughs> was disclosed. Now listen, his email was disclosed. The reporter's email was disclosed. And he tell them to go to the, the specific time in the video and they will be able to spot this issue. Now, the Oscar over here says, uh, I hope you're well. Your report is currently being reviewed by the Hacker One team. And then he says that the pro needs a program review or the hacker one needs to take a look at it. Now, the thing about it, how hacker one even works is basically you get all of these reports that are disclosed. They cannot contain sensitive information. That's just that's just it. You, you cannot contain sensitive information that could lead to potential more reports or even to affect the business infrastructure. So you just basically have to hide everything. After a while, again, this issue was reported on September 4th. The issue was fixed five days after he was rewarded with money for something you don't even, you can just go over these reports, dude, look go over the reports and just be, like look this is your job as a hacker think about it you you this could be you this could have been me but this could be you this is you hacking um let's let me just look at this uh who might have out of the ten thousand reports that have been disclosed someone might have messed it up but anyways he was also asked to retest this for fifty dollars oh my god that's just the sound that you heard it was me face palming dude how like people are making these money with no hacking and all you and I are just going there and trying to hack. And yeah, it's all fixed up. Now, it does not say how much money he made, but I'm assuming he made like around 100 or something. Now, the second report does. As you can see, he made $100 and he was also asked to do the retest. This dude, he saw the report that we have just like explained to you and he found the same issue on another report. <laughs> This is insane, dude. And I received a message, blah, blah, blah. And he goes back and forth. And now this Oscar, dude, I don't even know about you, but he said this issue was fixed, even though this dude clearly gave him two different reports. But I don't know, man. We're not. We're all trying our best here. But again, this guy was pretty calm about it. And he's like, you're looking at the wrong report. This guy messed it up. And after a while, he was rewarded with $100 as well as 50 additional to do some retesting because I don't know, are these guys lazy to do it themselves? <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> this final report was rewarded $500. Wow. And there's probably even more issues like this that have been reported to Hacker One. I just was not able to find them at this point. I was too lazy, actually. I just found this three and I was like, oh, I need to make a video. So $500. Let's go over this one. Now, this one is a little bit of an interesting because hi team, HackerOne is very sensitive when it comes to HackerOne report data such as report title, severity, and program. That's what I've just explained you. Now, recently, HackerOne disclosed this report, basically submitted by this guy, and the proof of concept video is not eradicated, meaning that it's quite visible and you can see the report, you can see everything. And the video contains undisclosed report. Wow, insane. And this mistake is truly magnificent and it brought this researcher $500 and it basically tells you to strap reproduce. But what I'm trying to tell you in this video is you don't even need to actually go and hack. You can just snipe reports which are getting disclosed daily, I would argue, and just go through them and try to find ones which have information disclosed. You can even automate this. I don't know. I'm not suggesting that, of course, but this could be a potential money mine. Now, after going back and forth, they was rewarded with $250 initially. They were rewarded again with $250. You can make crazy money if you just know where to look. And this is where to look. So if you're a researcher, even if you're not
not. All you gotta do is go over here to Hacktivity on HackerOne. Just go through these reports. Maybe you'll find someone messed something up. For example, it's mostly reports with videos don't have the videos dedicated. So you can just go ahead, try to find them. And if you do, congratulations, you earned anywhere from $150 to $500. I'm don't, I don't even know, was this a researcher asked to do the retest? Apparently not. They were not lazy to do it themselves this time, but this is crazy.